Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Browning Satori Hunter. Now this is just going to be a quick summary overview of this shotgun. If you want the detailed and in-depth review, that's over on the Target Focus Life YouTube channel. The gun I have here is a 20 gauge with a 26 inch barrel, but it's also available with 28 inch barrels. What Browning says about this shotgun is that, have you ever had a over under that was just too pretty to take a field? Well, we've solved that problem with the Satori Hunter. Uh, not sure if they're saying this is just kind of a plain boring gun, but it sort of is kind of a plain boring gun, but that does not mean it's not a great gun. This gun has an MSRP of $2269, but as always, if you're shopping at Reed's, you're gonna get it for less than that. Now shooting this gun in the review, it is a joy to shoot. Minimal recoil, the Inflex recoil pad works really well. Most of the recoil comes back into the shoulder. Not a lot of muzzle jump. It does point very naturally, which is one of the things that Browning says this gun will do. They say it'll point as natural as your index finger, and I don't know if it's quite that natural, but it was a really good pointing shotgun. Now, one thing I wanna point out on this is the checkering. It is nice checkering, it's aggressive though. Like you can really feel it in your hands and if that's what you're looking for, great. I found it a little too aggressive, kind of tore up my hands a little bit as I was shooting it. But if you need something for a solid grip, this Browning definitely has you covered there. It's got a nickel plated steel receiver. Very solid construction, very happy with how this gun is put together. It has some nice looking wood. It's grade two slash three. It's nothing fancy, but it's nice looking wood. Overall, just a solid gun, not a lot of fanciness going on, but at the price point, if you're looking for a field gun, at six pounds, eight ounces, you can carry this thing all day long. As far as ergonomics, the feel of it, it does feel really nice in the hands. The grip on the stock is nice and slender, easy to get your hand around and carry one-handed. The forearm is maybe a bit bulky for my liking, really no contour to it, just kind of a straight block of wood. A little front heavy, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for a smooth swing. And if you're carrying your gun like this, that's not gonna be a problem at all. Overall function of this gun is smooth, solid, very tight. Really like this gun. If you're looking for a 20 gauge to do some wing shooting, pheasants, quail, chasing those birds this fall, this might be a gun you wanna look into. The trigger on this shotgun is definitely one of the highlights. It feels great and it's under five pounds. Really enjoy shooting this gun with this nice trigger. Overall, there wasn't anything that I really didn't like. The texture was probably the biggest thing and it's really not a big deal at all gotta love the browning safeties very easy to select when you're mounting up that bird flushes put it on fire and mount right into it boom you're on target overall great gun if you want to get out and be chasing birds this fall whether it's pheasants quail or any other type of upland you want to chase maybe even shoot a few clays could even take it waterfowl hunting not really the intended use remember the whole review is on the target focus life channel if you want a deeper dive into this shotgun and until next time we'll see you later